Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PT for Pivot Tables PT05 In this video we are going to see a fantastic feature in Pivot Tables called Report Filter Pages which allows you to generate multiple reports from the same pivot table and in this video also we are going to work on a comprehensive practical example of creating a complete refreshable account receivable system using formulas and pivot tables and also we are going to look at how pivot tables can build the customer statement report and how we can generate 75 statements using this fantastic feature report filter pages and finally with one click we are going to refresh and update when new data comes to our system if you want to follow while watching this video or even if you want to practice after watching please go below in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and if you didn't subscribe yet to my channel please use the subscription button and the bell icon to get notified with the new videos also don't forget to visit the channel and uh, look at the PT series from the beginning we have seven videos before this one in our practical example today we are going to generate a customer statement 75 customers and before doing this we are going to create an AR subledger and we have here the template for this subledger and also we have here uh, the customer information for the 75 customers in this sheet so we have customer codes from 1 to 75 then the customer names and some other information about the customers and also we have four document types we have invoice credit note and check or cash and again we'll go back to the AR subledger and look at the eight columns of this subledgers the first four columns are prepared to use it for manual data entry for the documents or the transactions and we use some data validation to make sure that we properly enter our data so the first column it contains date it will not allow you to enter anything except date so try to enter something like one it will not allow you however if you try today's date it will allow you to do so and also document type you can only select from the drop down one of the four document documents type i'm going to select invoice and then customer number i'm only allowed to select from the drop down one of the customer numbers from 1 to 75 let's select three and also i'm allowed to enter absolute amounts only so i'm going to select 5000 or enter 5000 and in the right hand side you can see a document number generated the customer name retrieved from the customer list and the amount decided to be positive and the nature of the transaction will be debit because it is an invoice and we are recording in the AR ledger. In order to proceed further in our project, I want to enter more information, more transaction in this table, in this template. However, instead of doing this, I have already some information recorded in the documents uh, sheet here. Uh, but before copying uh, some information from here, I'm going to convert this template to a table so i'm going to select any cell inside this data range and i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control t to convert it to table the dialog box create table will pop up and it's already selected the range and it will ask you if your table has headers and it is and i'm going to click on ok now this range converted to table i'm going to select from the table design ribbon i'm going to select uh, something like uh, light white here and also I'm going to uncheck the banded rows and I'm going to give it name like AR underscore subledger and enter now my template is ready I'm going to erase the test that I did manually I will select and delete and now I'm going to go to documents I'm going to select May information. It's like thousand transactions. I'm going to select any cell inside the range. Control A to select all. Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to AR subledger. I'm going to select first row of the table. And instead of just Control V to copy, I'm going to use paste special and values. Why? Because I want to retain all the data validations that I have. In the first row I'm going to select paste values and you can see 
automatically the table expanded to include all the information uh, copied from the documents uh, sheet and also because I'm working on a table you can see all the formulas uh, copied automatically now I'm ready to generate my customer statement so I'm going to start with creating a pivot table from this sub ledger so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut while selecting any cell inside the table alt n v it will uh, open the create pivot table dialog box it's already recognized that I'm working on AR sub ledger table and it will ask you if you want to use new sheet or existing worksheet I'm going to use existing worksheet I'm going to customer statement which I already created for this purpose and I'm going to select B2 and OK the pivot table will be created I'm going to borrow the name from here double click Control C I'm going to pivot table analyze on the left hand side pivot table name select Control V to paste and enter and now I'm going to build the columns and rows of the report I'm going to start with the customer number in the filters and the amount in the values and I'm going to select right click number format I'm going to use currency because this is amounts and OK second I want to decide if this amount is debit or credit so I'm going to debit credit I will uh, put it in the columns Usually I start with the debit, so I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to select credit and drag to the right and release. So I, has I have the report now starts with the debit and then credit. So now I want to start with the date in the rows. Document type after dates and then document number. Now the report is ready. However, the layout need to be adjusted a little bit to give the, the look and feel of the customer statement. So I'm going to select any cell inside the pivot table. I'm going to design ribbon and from report layout, I'm going to select show in tabular form. And now look here, you have something like subtotal for the dates. I'm going to just select any cell inside the column date, right click and uncheck the subtotal. Same for total cash or the document type I'm going to select any cell right click uncheck the subtotal also the order of the documents is not very good so usually I want to start with the invoices for each date so I'm going to select the invoice and drag it to the top so now I start with the invoice then cash check credit note also credit note should be come after invoice so I'm going to select and drag up I think now my report is ready. This report is a customer statement, but for all customers together. Now, using this pivot table, I can also generate an instant uh, customer statement for every uh, one of the 75 customers using the drop down in this filter. So I'm ca I can use instead of all, I can use customer number one. It will generate a quick, quickly a statement for customer number one. I have the date, the document type. Uh, document number and the debit and credits and I have the balance at the end however this is not what we want to do I'm going to select back all we want to use a great feature in the pivot tables so I'm going to select any cell inside the pivot table I'm going to pivot table analyze on the left hand side I can look here at the option uh, pivot table options I'm going to select the arrow and I'm going to you to use the show report filter pages button and click once I click it will open this dialog box asking you which filter you want to use I have only one field in my filter which is customer number and please watch what will happen once I click on OK it will generate 75 reports each of them representing one of my 75 customers and here you go you have customer number one, customer number two, customer number three, a separate statement for each of them. So there is some other uh, cosmetics that I want to do for this report to make sure that it is uh, complete and nice. So I'm going to select all sheets, right click and select all sheets. I'm going to also press control and deselect the first three sheets. 
I'm going to double click at the top of the column A so I can adjust the column width. Also, I want to present the customer name, so I'm going to use VLOOKUP here in C1 equal VL for VLOOKUP. So the VLOOKUP value will be B1, comma. I'm going to uh, customer list and documents. I'm going to select my database for customers, comma. This is the table or array. Column index will be 2, and I'm going to select false because I need the exact match. Close the brackets and enter. This action will be done in the 75 sheets because I selected the entire 75 sheets while doing this action. I'm, I'm going also to borrow the number formatting or the cell formatting from the pivot table. So I'm going to select B1. I'm, I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to select C1. And again, it is performed on the 75 sheets. I can select any of the other sheets and go back again. You can see I have the customer name here. Go to two, you have also the customer name and so on and so forth till the end of the report. So the question now, what if I got new information? What will happen to these 75 reports? Should I go to those 75 reports and adjust them all? the answer is basically no and let's see how i'm going i'm going back to sheet uh, documents and as i told you i already prepared some information for june it's another thousand transactions i'm going to select uh, any cell in the range Control a to select all Control c to copy i'm going back to our ar i'm going to the first empty row at end of our table i'm going to home ribbon paste and paste values it will copy the the thousand transaction and you can see the formulas and everything copied down till the end and now i can go to my first statement you can see i have only uh, may information right click and refresh and look at this now june information included not only in the first sheet also in the second in the third until end of the 75 customer statements so with one click you can update and refresh your table and with one click you can generate the 75 customer statements i hope that was useful for you if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet please go down use the button for subscription and the bell icon so you can get notified with the new videos thank you very much for your time and see you in next videos and goodbye